Oh, another day, another piece of nonsense from the uh, the bounds of Disney. This this is fascinating. Star Wars book downplays Luke Skywalker's heroics, um, and the quote is this is very specifically: "Jin did everything that mattered." Now, you remember Jin? She was the character in Rogue One. I actually did not dislike. Uh, that that movie, uh, the sort of what they were doing with it, th those sorts of things. Didn't hate it. Um, in fact, I actually think it holds up a lot better than the new trilogy of movies do, that's for sure. But to say that Jin did everything that mattered... What? Uh, and the quote, is, the quote is actually a bit longer than that, and it says that Luke Skywalker, uh, all, all that he did was basically fire the last shot, and Jin did everything else that mattered. Just trying to down... It's just these consistent downplaying of not only men but also the original trilogy utterly baffling and i've said this many many times ladies and gents that you can raise people up whilst not putting people down this is not that this is terrible so yeah great uh, find a link to this article down below in the description box and just before we get into the article and this video uh, specifically the point that we're looking to make here I just want to take a massive special thank you we hit the 10 grand mark on my GoFundMe which is for my original IP fantasy horror film uh, I've extended the target now so we're still looking to push that uh, and hopefully hit the new target it's really cool it's gaining a lot of momentum I genuinely cannot thank you all enough. Thank you so much. So if you want to be a part of something iconic, check out the link down below. I will be doing a massive update uh, to the page and things like that. But check it out. Contribute the price of a coffee. Anyway, let's get into it, right? So Lucasfilm uh, and Star Wars Alphabet Squadron novel, which was released in June 2019, downplays Luke Skywalker's heroics in destroying the original Death Star in the first Star Wars film. Now again... A lot of people uh, will look at that date and go, well, why are we talking about it now? Look, guys, a lot of people have more time on their hands. So people that wouldn't have read this before are now reading it now. It's just par for the course. You know, we're all at home. I'm sure you're all doing a lot of weird stuff that you've probably never done before uh, or stuff that you've put off. I know a lot of people in the UK are randomly baking. You can't buy yeast anywhere. Very odd. Um, now, the novel follows five New Republic pilots and takes place following the events of Return of the Jedi. The team includes uh, Ricker Kell, a former Imperial fighter wing pilot. And that's a mouthful, isn't it? A former Imperial fighter wing pilot who defects to the Rebellion and becomes the leader of Alphabet Squadron. Oh, my God. There's, there's so many memes that we could make. If someone could make a meme of the Alphabet Squadron, maybe tie it to gender politics and things like that. That would be, you'd make my day. Please do that, please email it to me, mrhreviews at gmail.com or uh, send it to me on Instagram or Twitter at mrhreviews. Alphabet Squadron, I wanna see it. That is, uh, and it's also a woman. She leads the Alphabet Squadron. Guys, we need to make the Alphabet Squadron into a meme, a t-shirt, please. Please, 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 someone. You memesters out there. I want to see this. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she leads the Alphabet Squadron as they attempt to track down and destroy the Shadow Wing, a lethal, uh, a lethal force of TIE fighters exacting bloody reckless vengeance in their twilight of their reign. Uh, the rest of the team includes Nath Tencent, uh, Kairos, Will Lark, and Chas Nachadic. Weird fucking name. Anyway. Uh, as first reported by Disney, uh, Disney Star Wars is dumb. Chas Nachadic details to the Alphabeti Spaghettis that Luke Skywalker's heroics during the original film are essentially meaningless. Yep. That is, uh, that is what they did here, ladies and gents. That is what they did here. She states, You know Jin Erso? The woman who started it all and destroyed the Death Star. The first one. The real one, I mean. Uh, okay. Given that Urso didn't actually destroy the Death Star, Alphabeti Spaghetti Squadron member Nath Tencent counters her. Uh, General Skywalker and Red Squadron destroyed the Death Star. Chas dismisses the truth of the matter and explains 
Skywalker fired the last shot. That was all, uh, was all. Jin did everything that mattered. I met her once. Okay then. So the alphabet spaghettis, led by a woman, are bigging up, bigging up a woman and downplaying a man. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Sounds about right for Disney Star Wars. Good God. Uh, she would then go on to detail when she met Jin Erso in the five point system on the planet Akaneo. Interestingly enough, while Chas is telling this story, the narrator notes that part of her story is a lie. Okay. However, this narrator, as seen above, does not dispute Chas's claim regarding Luke Skywalker's destruction of the Death Star. It had been in the five point system. On an awful little world called Akineo. I was out of work, Chas said, which wasn't true, and out of credits, which was. There was someone looking for me back then, and he had connections. I had scan docs that would pass a mobile inspection, but would trip alarms at a real checkpoint. All of which is to say, it wasn't a great time in my life. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, like another like a YouTuber has uh, done a video on this. Um, again, the article is linked down below. So if you want to go check out uh, the person that which did a video on this and check them out, that's absolutely fine. Please uh, do that. Anyway, uh, Star Wars and Disney have done quite a bit to discredit Luke Skywalker and Anakin Skywalker in the Disney trilogy. And I tell you what's fascinating is that this comes at like great cost to Disney and Star Wars in general. Like the downplaying of male characters is utterly laughable. I can't wait for the day, you know, when the Obi Wan Kenobi series comes out and they basically just make him a little bitch, uh, you know, make him the the Sand People's cuck and bitch. That's all. That's all they're going to do, ladies and gents. Like seriously, and I know this series are being handled very, very well. Like Mandalorian, I think is a pretty good series, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I, I, I doubt. That Kenobi is going to be very good. I don't know. I don't have a lot of hope for that, especially you, McGregor. I mean, this is a man that bigged up uh, and stands behind the character of Black Mask in Birds of Prey. What an absolute joke of a film and characterization that was. So, yeah, don't hold your hopes, ladies and gents. Also, they mentioned that they've completely scrapped all, all that they were making on that anyway. So, yeah. Uh, in The Last Jedi, Luke's backstory has gone from bad to worse. Not only has he abandoned the galaxy, but he sealed himself off from the Force. This is the thing. The new series, the new trilogy uh, of films, really went out of their way to just poo-poo everyone else. They really, really did. So much so that they had a Palpatino. Yeah, that's right. Ray Palpatino be the saviour of the galaxy and the Force. Like, are you having a laugh? Fuck. Honestly. Such a such a joke, um, you know. And it can, you know, the, the article kind of goes on to stipulate some other bits and pieces, you know. And it rounds out with it's hard not to see that Kathleen Kennedy's uh, led Lucasfilm set out to destroy the accomplishments of Luke Skywalker and are still doing everything they can to rewrite his story. However, while Kennedy and Lucasfilm have been destroying Luke Skywalker, they've also been destroying the Sky uh, the Star Wars franchise. Fans are rejecting these changes and abandoning Star Wars as seen in the lack of demand for Disney Trilogy's toys, which is a recent thing which came out. It doesn't doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Anyway, we all knew that was happening, but it's interesting to get the actual uh, statistics and the figures that came out, and they are terrible. So, yeah. Um, and then, obviously, it says the significant decline in box office gross for Disney Trilogy and the utter box office bomb with Solo. Um, so, what do you make of the Alphabet Spaghetti Squadron? Please, someone make a meme. I, I need that in my life. I need an alphabetty spaghetti squadron. Um, I need that as a meme. Please, someone make it. So let me know your thoughts on this down below uh, in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a like and a share. And also, guys, like I said, uh, this video is brought to you by my original short film. I've got to plug it here and there. Um, yes, we hit the first target, but just like you would have on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, all those kind of things, we've got more targets, we've got more things we want to do. I'm actually even making action figures. Um, there'll be some news on that coming soon, but yeah, we're making action figures. So it, it's this whole thing, but please support it. Be a part of uh, history, hopefully. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Take care.